Welcome to the ultimate guide to candlestick patterns episode 2. In the previous episode, I talked about different types of candles and I explained how they are interpreted. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about candlestick patterns, reversal candlestick patterns. If you're totally new to candlestick charts and you know nothing about candles and how they are interpreted, I recommend first you watch the episode 1 and after that you continue with this video. And if you've already watched the previous episode or you are familiar with the basics and different types of candles, Stay tuned and let's get it sorted. All right, here we go. In the first episode, you learn different types of candlesticks and how to interpret them. They were analyzed individually to get the important signals that they send about the market. However, most of the significant signals that we can get from the candlesticks are based on combinations of these individual candlesticks. Candlestick patterns can be categorized in different ways. One way is based on the number of candles in the pattern. For example, single candlestick patterns like the ones I explained in the first episode, dual candlestick patterns, triple candlestick patterns, and more number of candles in the pattern. And another way of categorizing them is based on being a reversal pattern or continuation pattern, which is the base of this course. And in this episode, so I want to talk about reversal candlestick patterns. One important point that I must mention here before starting the patterns is that the term reversal is somehow a misnomer because when we say reversal, the first thing that comes to mind is that, for example, the uptrend stopped and it's going to reverse to a downtrend instantly. But this is not always the case. And most of the time, reversing of the direction of the trend happens slowly after going through different stages. For example, after spotting a reversal pattern following an uptrend, it only means that there is a possibility that this uptrend is weakening and we may see changes in this uptrend, not necessarily turning of this uptrend to a downtrend. For example, the price may go to a trading range for a considerable period of time before reversing to a downtrend, or it may continue that uptrend again after the range. So when we say reversal, it means that the direction of the price is likely to change, not necessarily a quick reversal. So we need other clues and more confirmations before entering a trade based on signals generated by candlestick patterns. Okay, let's begin with engulfing patterns. In engulfing patterns, we have two candles that are in opposite colors. We have two kinds of engulfing patterns, bullish engulfing and bearish engulfing. In bullish engulfing pattern, the first candle is a short to medium red candle and the second candle is a long green candle that the body of this green candle totally engulfs the whole body of the red candle. It's better and it gives more significance that shadows of the first candle to be in the low to high range of the second candle. However, the focus in this pattern is on the bodies and the body of the second candle should engulf the body of the first candle. And in the ideal situation, it also engulfs the shadows of the first candle. In another words, in the ideal situation, the whole first candle from low to high is totally included in the body of the second candle and this makes the pattern stronger. The longer the second candle, the stronger is the pattern. Also, pay attention that the first candle should not be a doji because doji candles are easily engulfed by any candlesticks and it makes this pattern to lose its effectiveness. Bullish engulfing pattern forms following a decline or near a support level. In in other words, it forms in the bottom. The important point that makes this pattern valid is that there must be a clear defined decline, whether it's a downtrend, long, mid or short, or just a short decline approaching a support level. As we expect red candles following the decline after this red candle that forms on the chart, which is usually short to medium candle, the next candle opens with a gap below the previous candle close because of selling pressure at first. You may say the selling pressure is high and the price is going to go lower, but suddenly the situation changes. Buyers don't allow the price to go lower. They step in and take the control of the price and drive the price to higher levels, higher than the first candle open or even higher than the first candle high. And the candle closes at those high levels. And this shows a change in the behavior of the market because of a reason, whether a fundamental reason or emotionally or just paying a cheap price and touching the bottom of the market, the interest for buying suddenly increased. And this gives the possibility that a change in this downtrend may happen and we may see a reversal in the direction of the price. And bearish engulfing pattern is similar to bullish engulfing pattern and whatever we just said applied here, but in the opposite direction. In bearish engulfing pattern, the first candle is short to medium green candle and the second candle is a long red candle that the body of this candle totally engulfs the body of the first candle. 
and in the ideal situation the shadows of the first candle are also engulfed the longer the second candle the stronger is the pattern and similar to the bullish one the first candle should not be a doji bearish engulfing pattern forms in the top following an advance or near resistance levels and we must have a clear defined advance whether it's an uptrend or an advance approaching a resistance level following the advance and after this short to medium green candle the next candle opens with a gap above the previous candle close which at first you may think we have high buying pressure and the price may go higher but sellers take the control and push the price down lower than the first candle open or even lower than the first candle low and this shows that we have a sudden change in market sentiment because of a reason or just emotionally after reaching that high level everyone started to sell and the price went down significantly and the candle closed below the first candle open and this indicates that there is a possibility for changing in the direction of this uptrend the next pattern i want to explain is dark cloud cover in this pattern we have two candles the first candle is green and the second candle is red both of the candles have long body and a small shadow or they don't have shadows small shadows are not a must for this pattern and with longer shadows the pattern can still be effective but not with so long shadows the second candle opens with a gap above the first candle close or ideally above the first candle high. This pattern forms in the top following an advance or near resistance levels. And as we expect being in this advance, the first candle is a long green candle that shows buying pressure. As I said, the second candle opens with a gap above the first candle close or ideally above the first candle high, above the upper shadow, which at first it may seem that the bulls have complete control of the market and the price may even go higher. But suddenly the game changes and bears take the control and push the price down significantly and at the end the second candle closes lower than the midpoint of the first candle the greater that the red candle penetrates in the body of the green candle or covers the body of the green candle as the name of the pattern implies the stronger is the pattern and more possibility of changing in the direction of the price the red candle must close lower than the midpoint of the green candle to make this pattern valid and if it closes lower than the open of the first candle and totally engulfs the body it becomes engulfing pattern which gives the most possibility that a change in the price direction may happen the difference between bearish engulfing and dark cloud cover is that the first candle in bearish engulfing pattern is not considered as strong as the first candle in dark cloud cover but on the other hand the second candle in bearish engulfing is considered to be stronger because it closes below the first candle open so by considering equal conditions for the two patterns bearish engulfing is stronger than the dark cloud cover and piercing pattern is the mirror image of the dark cloud cover and whatever we just said about dark cloud cover is true here but in the opposite direction here the first candle is red the second is green both of them have very long body with small or non-existent shadows the second candle opens with a gap below the first candle close or ideally below first candle low this pattern forms in the bottom following a downtrend or near resistance levels being in a downtrend we have a long red candle which shows high selling pressure and after that the next candle opens with a gap below the first candle close or ideally below the lower shadow but because of reasons more and more buy and bulls take the control and drive the price up significantly and the candle closes above the midpoint of the first candle the greater that the green candle pierces in the body of the red candle the stronger and more significant becomes the pattern and it gives more possibility that the price direction may change and in the case that the green candle closes above the first candle open it becomes a bullish engulfing pattern that gives the most possibility of changing in the direction of the market in this pattern and the difference between piercing pattern and bullish engulfing pattern as i just explained for the dark cloud cover by considering equal conditions bullish engulfing is stronger than the piercing pattern we have a group of candlestick patterns that they include stars in candlestick patterns terminology a star is a candle that has a small body and small shadows or in another words it's a spinning top with small shadows that opens with a gap after a long candle the body of these two candles don't overlap and there is a gap between the two bodies the color of the star doesn't matter because as i explained in the previous episode the body is small which means there is not a considerable movement between open and close and in the case that the star is a doji it's called a doji star doji stars are stronger and more significant 
when a star forms, it's a warning and it indicates that the trend is weakening and there is a possibility that the direction of the price may change. Stars show tug of war, indecision and a deadlock between forces of bulls and bears. For example, in an uptrend, the bulls are in command and when a star forms after a long green candle, it shows that there is a shift from the bulls being in control to a standoff and indecision among the forces of buyers and sellers. This standoff can be because of decreasing in buying pressure or increasing in selling pressure, which in both of the cases, it indicates that the trend is vulnerable and there is a possibility for a change in the direction of the price. All right, now let's discuss the patterns that include stars. Let's begin with morning star. Morning star is a bullish reversal pattern. In this pattern, we have three candles. The first candle is a long red candle and the second candle has small body and small shadows. Actually, it's a spinning top with small shadows that the body of this candle is formed with a gap below the body of the first candle. These two candles together create star pattern. Actually, this small body candle forms in a star position. As I've already explained, the color of this small body doesn't matter. The third candle is a long green candle that moves well in the body of the first candle. It's better to be close above the midpoint of the first candle. In an ideal situation, the third candle also opens with a gap above the second candle. It rarely happens, but when it happens, it makes the pattern more significant and effective. If the third candle doesn't open with a gap, it doesn't mean that the pattern loses its power and it can still be considered effective. This pattern forms in the bottom following a downtrend or support levels. As we expect, we have a long red candle and it shows that we have high selling pressure and the bears are in control. And after this long red candle, the next candle opens with a gap below the previous candle close that at first may seem that the bears are trying to more aggressively push the price down. But the result is a small candle, which means that we have a shift from bears in control to a state of standoff and decision among buyers and sellers. And this shows that the prior trend is weakening and the direction of the price may change. And by forming the third candle, which is a long green candle that has moved well inside the body of the first candle, it shows that the bulls are gaining strength and the bears lost the control. And this more indicates that the direction of the price is going to change possibly. And evening star is exactly like the morning star, but in the opposite direction. This pattern forms in the top and it's a bearish reversal pattern. In evening star, the first candle is a long green candle and the second candle is a small candle that forms in star position. And the third candle is a long red candle that goes down considerably in the body of the first candle. It's better to go below the midpoint of the first candle. And as I explained in the morning star pattern, here also in the ideal situation, the third candle opens with a gap below the second candle body, but lack of gap doesn't decrease the power of this pattern. Uh, the gap only makes the pattern stronger and more significant. As I said, this pattern forms in the top following an uptrend or near resistance levels. Being in an advance, we expect green candles and this long green candle shows that the bulls are in command. And when the next candle opens with a gap above this green candle, the first thing that comes to mind is that the bulls are trying to push the price up more aggressively, but the result is a small body and small shadows, and this shows a deadlock, a kind of indecision. It indicates that because of a reason, buying pressure is decreased or selling pressure increased. Whatever the reason, in both of the cases, it shows that the trend is weakening and with the third candle that is a long red candle that goes well inside the body of the first candle, it shows that buyers lost the control and sellers are becoming strong, which more indicates that a change in the price direction may happen. Morning Doji Star and Evening Doji Star these patterns are similar to morning star and evening star patterns, but instead of that small candle, here we have a doji, which makes the pattern stronger and more significant. Dojis are more significant than small candles and they show greater amount of indecision. For example, here in this case, the morning doji star, which forms in the bottom following a downtrend or near support levels, 
we see that we have a long red candle that shows that the bears are in command. But when the second candle, I mean the doji, forms on the chart with the gap below the body of the first candle in a star position, it shows a complete indecision, greater amount of indecision in compared to a small body. And it means a complete deadlock between the bulls and bears. It shows that the bears are losing control and we have increased buying pressure. But we must wait for the third candle to see who is going to take the control, bulls or bears. Because until now with this doji, the result is a deadlock. And we can only say that the bears are losing control and this downtrend may end. If the third candle, for example, is a red candle, it means that the bears are back and took the control of the price and the bullish signal of this doji star is violated. And when we have a green candle like this that closes well inside the body of the red candle, it means that the bears lost the control and the bulls are in command now. And this more indicates that there is a possibility that the direction of the price may change. I mean, this downtrend may end and a reversal is likely to happen. And we have similar interpretation for evening doji star, which I don't repeat it here again because I fully explained the evening star pattern. And here in evening doji star, the degree of indecision is greater and the pattern is more significant as I explained for morning doji star. So evening doji star and morning doji star are stronger and more significant than evening star and morning star patterns. In other forms of morning doji star and evening doji star that happens very rarely are bullish abandoned baby and bearish abandoned baby. Here in these patterns, the doji candle forms in a star position with an upside gap or downside gap, which means that the shadows also do not touch. For example, here in the bullish abandoned baby pattern, we see that after this long red candle, we have a doji, but its upper shadow doesn't overlap with lower shadow of the first candle. And the next candle, which is a green candle, opens with upside gap, which means that its lower shadow doesn't touch the upper shadow of the doji. This pattern forms in the bottom following a downtrend or support levels. And it shows that this decline is weakening and there is a possibility that we may have a reversal. This pattern is stronger and more significant than morning doji star but as i said this pattern is very rare and similarly in the bearish abandoned baby after a long green candle we have a doji that opens with an upside gap and after that the third candle opens with a downside gap in another words in this formation we have a doji in the middle of two candles that its lower shadow doesn't touch the upper shadows of those candles this pattern forms in the top following an advance or near resistance levels and it shows that the bulls are losing control and there is a possibility that this uptrend ends and a reversal may happen. This pattern is stronger and more significant than evening doji star but as I've already said this pattern rarely forms on the chart. Another star pattern that is extremely rare but very strong and significant when it forms on the charts is three star pattern. In this pattern, we have three consecutive dojis. We have two kinds of three star pattern, bullish three star and bearish three star. Bullish three star forms in the bottom following a downtrend or near support levels, and it gives the possibility that we may have a reversal. After a red candle, we have our first doji. The first doji can be with a gap below the red candle body, or in its closing level and it shows indecision among buyers and sellers. The second doji opens with a gap below the first doji and this doji shows us that the downtrend is seriously vulnerable and we may have a reversal. And the third doji opens with a gap above the second doji and this candle also shows a deadlock between the forces of bulls and bears but here it shows that the market sentiment is changing because this candle opens in the opposite direction of the trend above the previous doji and we have the same for bearish tree star bearish tree star forms in the top following an advance or near resistance levels and it gives us the signal that the direction of the price may change after a green candle the first doji forms it can be with a gap or without a gap the second doji opens with a gap above the first doji and the third doji opens with a gap below the second doji and this shows that the market sentiment is changing. As I said, having three consecutive dojis is extremely rare, but when this pattern appears on the chart, it's a very strong and significant signal, and usually after that, the price experiences a sharp reversal. 
All right, that's it. In this episode, I talked about some reversal candlestick patterns and I explained how you can correctly identify and interpret them and how they can help you to analyze the behavior and actions of buyers and sellers to forecast the possible changes in the direction of the market. In next episode, I'll discuss some more reversal candlestick patterns that are reliable and useful for trading. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it has been helpful for you. If you found any value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next episode and good luck with your trading.